Well, Roxy, welcome to Ken's Five. We're so Thank glad you. to have you. And Native Texan here. Yay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeehaw. Hey, tell, tell everybody where you're from. And I'm from El Paso, Texas. Yeah. So Sun City, West yeah. Texas to now Alamo City. Yay. So I'm so We're happy so to be here. glad to have you. Yes. Yeah. Great experience. And I love San Antonio. I'm not just saying that because I'm here, but I love San Antonio. It's oh, she has the energy. <laughs> uh, yeah. I love the energy. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, well, people here are just so wonderful. And just, you know, everybody comes together for good things. And, you know, just a great city. Love yeah. you guys. <laughs> but speaking of the city, beautiful yeah. outside. A okay. little bit chilly. You're definitely going to need the sweater. Maybe the Hot Pocket sweater if you want to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but looking at your sky cam across town, looking at pretty clear skies this morning. Beautiful day, as you can see. If you head outside, it is going to feel a little bit crisp. So grab the sweaters, grab the jackets. Right now, as you're heading out the door, 56 degrees is where we're at. Wind's really nice and calm. Do point though is at 54 so that humidity is a little bit high feeling a little bit muggy this morning. Now as far as your temperatures across the region we're looking at 55 in Bernie, 53 in Hondo, 53 in Moore. Towards the east we're looking at 58 in Stockdale. Now across South Texas looking at 58 in Kerrville, 64 in Del Rio, uh, La Grande at 65 and 66 in Beeville. But overall, beautiful Saturday for today to run some errands, go to the farmer's market, hang out, partly cloudy skies, winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now, Sunday night into Monday morning, we're going to be seeing some severe storms. So lots of rain chances, especially on Monday morning. And we are going to be seeing slightly breezy conditions and gusts possibly up to 25 miles per hour. But here's what it looks like across the U.S. We have this cold front moving in. It's going to stop right over Texas and then before it makes its way towards the northeast, but it's going to bring that cold air with it and those rain chances. So check this out. We're looking at some severe weather threats Sunday night, like I said, especially uh, towards the west, but by Kerrville and Uvalde and Hondo, we're looking at one out of five risk. More towards the west, we're looking at that two out of five risk, so a little bit more storms that way. By Monday morning, it'll make its way towards the east by Gonzales, Cuero, Victoria. So watch out Monday morning if you have to go to work, if you have to take the kiddos to school, we do have those rain chances. Now here's a look at your future cast. As we move through, we'll see those storm chances move through, especially uh, starting at 3 a.m. Sunday morning, m Monday morning. So you'll see Fredericksburg seeing some activity. By San Antonio, we'll really see the activity by 8 o'clock. And then by midday, we should be in the clear. So it's going to be mostly be in those morning hours. So like I said, cold front's going to move in, bringing those breezy conditions, cooling us down. But here's a look at your 14-day forecast. So a little bit warmer for your Sunday, 85 degrees. We'll cool down to 77 for your Monday, 79 on Tuesday. And look at those much cooler temperatures over the week, uh, weekend. So Wednesday and Thursday. We're looking at 60s and 50s, uh, morning high, morning low of 41 on Thursday before we warm up into those more seasonal temperatures into the 70s next week for your Thanksgiving week. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this break. 